Hey guys, before I start this video, please go to the link in the description for my Twitch channel. Hit the sub button. Also hit the notification button so you guys know when I go live, and I would appreciate it. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Easy TV bringing you guys another division video. I know it's been about almost two weeks since I haven't uh, uh, released a video, but there's only so many more builds that you can do on Division. Um, to be honest, the game is getting a little boring to me, um, and it's not really too many more builds that I can do. So I, you know, I don't really upload videos of builds like that no more because I've did a lot of builds. Uh, I will be also doing uh, build videos when the new um, uh, um, what is it called? Uh, GE or whatever global event come out. I will be doing more builds with those video uh, those gear sets But I'm gonna get straight into the video. So of course um, I've been grinding for a six-piece classifier predator for a while now. I finally got it and I'm gonna show you guys how I run it. Um, I run it a little different from everybody else I know some of you guys are probably gonna give this videos a thumb down or have a negative comment to say about the build but I'm going to let the last stand gameplay speaks for itself. All right. So, of course, I'm running six piece classifier predator um, with the house and the MP7. Um, I'm at 516 K DPS, uh, 423 K toughness, 8,821 firearms and 4,088 stamina. Uh, no skill power. I don't run skill power at all. And uh, the gun, I have a, a God Road. Uh, the uh, house is almost at 300k by itself. Uh, it's 23% critical hit chance, 27.3 uh, damage, responsive deadly car counter. And uh, here's the magazine, the small optic muzzle, and the uh, underbarrel. Also, with the MP7, 21.8k, 20.50% critical hit chance, uh, responsive, deadly, and competent. And here's also the mods that I use for that one as well. Um, and then the Predator's Mark chest piece. This is not an optimized build at all. I will optimize it when I get the uh, the things that I need. But uh, classified uh, chest piece, um, almost 1,900 uh, firearms. Just roll for firearms, uh, 16,000 health. And then it has 11% exotic damage resilience. If you don't want exotic damage resilience, I advise you to go for skill haste. But since skill power is really not, you know, a thing for these type of builds anymore, I go with exotic damage resilience just because of the bleed that I get from anything uh, like another predator or something. Uh, ammo, 52% ammo capacity, and it has two firearm mods with health on it. All right. Also, predators mark mass, roll for firearms, 4% critical hit chance, 12% damage to elite, and it also has a firearms mod with health on it. Uh, uh, Predators Mark knee pads, roll for stamina, almost have 1400, uh, uh, 16,000 health, uh, disrupt, blind, and uh, bleed resistance. If you don't want health on these, you can roll for exotic damage, resilience, critical hit damage, whatever you want to, scale power. I go with as much health as possible. Um, also, it has a uh, firearms mod with health on it and a 2% post critical hit chance mod, performance mod. Also, a classified uh, Predator's Mark backpack, roll for firearms, 13,000 health, uh, burn resistance. I would want shock resistance because, you know, everybody knows that play DZ, anything. Shock resistance is kind of like, I mean, shock, shock turrets is like the thing now for some reason because people can't shoot or ADS, but that's just the thing now. So I would want that to have shock resistance on it, and it also has a firearm mod uh, with health and two post-critical hit chance mods. Also, the gloves. Now, the gloves that I have that are not Predator's Mark, I mean, that are not classified, but they are Predator's Mark, is God Roll. These are not. These have 1,300 uh, on them. They have SMG damage, critical uh, critical hit damage, and uh, enemy armor damage. You would want the enemy armor damage to be critical hit chance just to have as much critical hit chance as possible. I will be trying to grind for those gloves, though, but that's what, that's what, that's what you will want. Uh, also, uh, Predator's Mark classified um, uh, holster is rolled, uh, you know, all three stats. It's, it's kind of on the low end for all three stats as in classified. 
Uh, also, it has uh, a 4% critical hit change. You don't have to run critical hit change. You can run skill haste, whatever fits your build, all right? And this one also has a post critical hit chance mod on it as well. All right, my abilities that I run is booster shot. Of course, for the damage, I run a pulse. Uh, my pulse is at uh, 14, 90%. Um, if you don't want to run a pulse and you got teammates that run pulse, I, I advise you to run an immune. Uh, you will run into shock turrets, flame turrets, no matter where you go. Uh, DZ, last stay in skirmish, it doesn't matter. You're going to run into shock turrets, all right? Especially skirmish. Uh, so you can run an immune box. You can run whatever you want to, all right? Talents that I run is adrenaline. A lot of people say adrenaline doesn't work. It works. It works 90% of the time for me, all right? I can just say that. Um, I rock adrenaline so I can't, like, when I fight other Pred or anything like that, I don't uh, get that same type of bleed effect with, like, in seven seconds. Like, I can pop a med kit, and then I be get, I get immune, so when they aim down on me again, I don't go back into the Predator's Mark bleed. And it's been working pretty fine for me like that. So I advise you guys to run adrenaline, and then I run Critical Save. Also, I run Shrapnel. Applying bleed to any target triggers a 30% chance each uh, per each target in the radius. So people that's running in groups, you hit one person and they go into bleed effect. Maybe you have a 30% chance that everybody is going to get that same bleed effect, even without shooting them. So I also run that and then I run uh, on the move. Of course, you got to have on the move to get that 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 toughness, especially if you're running a gun and I'm a running gun type player. So I do run that as well. Also on this build, I have um, I have a uh, standing 36.50% critical hit chance and 117% critical hit damage. Uh, it was 120. I don't know why it went down, but 117%. Um, and let me see the exotic damage resilience. It might not be that high. Uh, exotic damage resilience is 11%. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. But it could be way higher, like if you're running like a final measure or something like that. All right. Uh, bleed resist is 28%. Guys, I need to see that. All right. Um, what else do I need to show you guys? All right. So I'm going to just show you guys uh, with the house. Yesterday, I was shooting with this weapon and I was getting like 89% crit. Uh, not 89%. Uh, 90k crit for bleed. And for some reason today when I was shooting, it was like 71 so I don't know why that changes. If any of you guys can give me a reason why that changes like that and not the same type of bleed to make me understand more, um, I would appreciate it. But like I said, um, I'm hitting for 65K, bleeding regular by itself at 35 and then 77K. Like I said yesterday, it was, like, hey, it was at 90K with the same kind of build. All right. So that's just what you get. This is not booster. This is not. So I can add booster in there as well. There's the booster. 33, 70, 72 crits, 59 on the C. I don't understand that. That's what booster and it was lower. Uh, also pulse. Crit more. 72, 67. Bleed for 72. That's cool. Um. Also, uh, let me see. I went through that. I went through that. All right. Now, <clears throat> I'm just run through this real quick. Uh, the, the low toughness you guys see. All right. This is why I feel that I that I run that is better for me, in my opinion, to run six piece spread like this, because, OK, with the 9K stamina uh, spread, you get that, um, I guess, that extra hundred and let me see. What is it? 120% um, additional bleed. All right. So that's cool and all. But you also lose responsive if it's not in a free slot. And um, you also lose a lot of firearms. So with this kind of bill running a 9K stam, yeah, the, print, the, the, the bleed is crazy. But you're only relying on the bleed. You kind of have no gun power, in my opinion. You have no gun power. All right. Uh, just like I told you guys before, the people that were like cursing me out in my in my in my videos and comments. Oh, you saying it because you don't have it? Well, I have it, and it's still the same thing. The 9K stam pred is not a problem for me, at least with my striker build. But 
the nine K firearms is a big problem. And I'm gonna say why I feel that it's a big problem. So like I said, with stamina, you only get that extra 120% bleed. All right. There's ways to get around that. Pop a med kit, you get around that. Um, run the drilling in for seven seconds, you can get around that. Having high toughness and exotic damage resilience, the bleed doesn't even really do nothing. You can get around that. But with the 9K firearms six piece classified build, yeah, the bleed is not as strong as a, a, a 9K stamina. You still get the bleed, you still get the crits, but you cannot get away from high critical hit chance, high critical hit damage, and flat out damage, period. You cannot get away from firearms. So no matter how many med kits you pop, what kind of you know abilities you pop, uh, boosters, anything like that, you cannot stop the power of 9K firearms. You can get away from 120% bleed, cannot get away from 9K um, um, firearms, all right? So with the 9K firearms, I shred through everything. If you guys uh, later on in the video, I'm dropping some last stand gameplay and you're gonna see why I say that running a 9K Predator's Mark is better than running the 9K Stamina uh, Predator's Mark. You're gonna actually see, I melt everything. It doesn't matter if you have Nomad, you can have uh, 625K health, 650K health, anything like that. It does not matter. You will get shredded within the blink of an eye with this bill. Yes, it's on a little bit of the squishy shot side, but it hits so hard. You don't even have to worry about being too much a squishy because people are already going to panic anyways when it comes to the bleed effect. Then on top of that, you have the six piece bleed effect, which I am getting the 3000. So I am getting an increase. It say the damage over time to the target is increased by 15% for every 3000. So I am getting a stronger bleed. Now, if you don't want to run it this way, I would advise you to go 6,000 stamina and 6,000 firearms. All right. That's what I advise you guys to do. I might try that build. It might be a little better because it will have more toughness, but I will lose firearms. But the thing is, you won't be too, too squishy. All right, this one is not super squishy, but you're squishy enough, all right? But if you do not want to run this build, run 6,000 firearms, 6,000 stamina. If I was you, my personal opinion, I would not run 9K stamina. Only reason why is you only re, uh, you're only relying on the bleed. But like I said, I haven't uploaded in a while. Glad you guys stayed around. Enjoy the video. Uh, leave a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel hit that notification button i do have my twitch channel in the link uh in the description also go to that link sub to that uh like that and also hit the notifications for that please enjoy the last stand gameplay and i'm out objectives. Charlie. Hold this enabled at Charlie. 
The turret has been activated at Charlie. We've got Charlie. Your spawn relay has been activated. We've gone ahead. Hostiles have Alpha.
station at Charlie is now under attack. Tactical boost can be activated in 10 seconds. Tactical boosts are now available. The fortification at Charlie is no longer functional. Charlie has gone neutral. Your spawn relay has been disabled. The points for kills tactical boost is active. Rogue agents are assaulting a fortification. Fortification at Charlie has been destroyed. Good to know this what? city's <laughs> That is at the halfway point. Charlie's ours. Your spawn relay has been enabled. Charlie is now. The spawn relay is now inactive. Protocol activated. That's a win for our side. 